Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your speaking and welcome to another game. This time is going to be a free for all, six player game, no quitters. Uh, no quitters is a group on Steam that gathers people that just don't like people quitting mid game. Uh, you can find the link in the, on my main channel page, the no quitters group. And we have just got Germany. Together in this game we've got NQ Shumi 16 playing as Assyria, NQ Sultan playing as Ethiopia, Twinsen playing as Siam, Gemma playing as Arabia, and NQ Lucky Strike playing as Netherlands. Uh, good luck, have fun. <laughs> well, I do like my capital, though I will probably not move. Hmm. I'm tempted to go here and scout just a little bit. Yeah, ruin, right. Well. Let's just get in here. At least my start is pretty decent again. Okay, monument. A scout and a worker this time is crucial. And we need what do we actually need. Well, seeing horses this time could be useful. But actually, I would prefer to go mining, masonry, and sailing optics very quickly to grow my capital very to a very very large size hmm. I really hope that this time I'm not that close and if I'm close to someone I will just try to make it peacefully uh, I don't know if this game will be posted before or after a pretty short game mm, well basically shows exactly what happens when you go out all out war uh, in the early stages of the game you just fall behind so strong and if you don't get you will not conquer the enemies you will just fall behind enormously I mean like enormously large so 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 okay what do we have we got a monument I need a scout I need a worker and then I need a granary and I need a fish ASAP. Perhaps a shrine this time just because I got marble and pearls in my capital. Wheat. Nice. Coast. Uh, perhaps I'm on my own piece of land this time. That would be so cool. I so, so like economic games uh, with only defensive wars or defensive war plus counterattack. I hate being the aggressor. I'm not that good at it at all. Sometimes I just have to, but I seriously, I seriously don't don't like to do it. Okay, production focus. And am I actually on the hill? Oh, I did not notice that uh, my city was on the hill. That's perfect. I like it very much. Perhaps we could get two scouts then before a worker. Yeah, two scouts before a worker is probably a good idea. Probably a good idea. Ruin. Yeah, yeah, spearman. Now I just need city states. This city states state I need for extra. Well, Germany first in Hamas. That's encouraging. Quite a lot of jungle. Quite a nice capital, and I see a very strong place for a second city in here. Maybe not that great for a defensive city, but overall a very nice city on a river uh, with two bananas. Uh, truffles and wheat in the back pretty pretty strong okay can we get in here yeah the ruin is still there that's nice the ruin is still there please continue if I'm on my own piece of land in here I will just plant the city and go National College ASAP very quickly. That could be a very, very nice idea. Very nice idea, but we'll have to check that. That's actually possible. Okay. One of those short turns. Okay, since this is the start of the game, I will... Yeah, hey, extra population. How cool is that? It's perfect. Exactly what we needed. Mm, just because this is the start, I will talk a little bit about civilizations in this game. Now, Ethiopia is a very strong civilization, a very strong religious civilization. 
with that monument replacement that's just a lovely sieve. Mm, well, Arabia does not need explaining. Uh, Camel Address is one of the strongest unique units uh, available in this game. Then again, we've got Siam, very strong solution as well. Special building, special, well, unique ability, and those elephants, everything is very, very strong about Siam. Oh, such a lovely spot. Look at this. Look at this spot. That's such a lovely city spot. All right, tradition opener. And it's such a lovely city spot. So Siam, pretty strong. Then we've got Assyria, pretty strong Civ as well. Mm, this is a new Brave New World Civ. Uh, well, the siege tower is something to be feared, and it's really, really strong. And then again, Paris, I actually could, nah, actually Fate from Quarries is much stronger in this game. Um, and we've got, what we got, and we've got, um, yeah, the Dutch. Oh, a city state in here. One, two, three. Can I plant a city in here? Probably not. Damn you, mountain. Hmm, I was really holding back. This looks like I really have my own piece of land. And I mean, like, seriously, I do have my own piece of land. That would be so lovely. That would be just so, so lovely. Okay, hello there, Melbourne. Pledge to protect, ask for tribute. There we go. Thanks to that Spearman upgrade, we are able to do this. And could we actually purchase anything? No, we cannot. Because we are not researching the correct technology yet. Hmm. One, two, three. I really hope it's three. I think so. It looks like... It looks like it's, uh, you know, like... It's not the second ring. I mean, like, it is the second ring because it goes like, yeah, it should go here and the city is probably in here. Yeah, I really hope so. It's like that. Really, really hope so. And another city state. Perfect. I'm not first though. So there is someone in here. Hmm. I really hope he's far, far away from me this time. Really far away. Okay, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your speaking, and this part of the game is actually recorded after um, after the actual game. I mean, a couple of days. I just was not able to make commentary when I was playing this game so let's just drop in here I will not mm, try to look like I actually did the commentary while I was playing I was just gonna mm, criticize my playing at the moment and just talk about what I actually see uh, on the game screen at the moment okay so what do we see we absolutely don't see nothing except the chat that Lucky Sultan is swimming in salt. All right, there we go. Oh, nicey, a ruin in here. And the scout explores the south part, and it actually looks, yeah, it perfectly looks like a, mm, like I'm, I have my own piece of land in here. That's great. That's great. I always like when I'm all alone. Yeah, this is exactly. This looks like a, a little place only for myself. That's cool. That's actually very, very nice. Okay, deal proposed. What do you have? Declaration of friendship from Lucky Strike. Yes, of course. We love to be friends with everyone. And there we go. We start on stones. And what's in the ruin? Am I going to get the ruin? Yes, there we go. And surrounding our there we go. There's a lucky strike pretty close. Pretty close to lucky strike is kind of a peaceful uh barbarian camp. Hen and barbarian archer. Barbarians are so aggressive in Brave New World. That's absolutely crazy. 
So Lucky Strike is well most of the times he's pretty peaceful. Uh so it's actually cool to have him as the closest neighbor. So that's at least nice. Alright, Spearman, will you kill the archer? Yes, of course you will kill the archer. <laughs> bad bad spearman. Yeah, scout run away, and we are going to go for a granary. Perfect. Perfect, right. I think it's time to move away from here, Mr. Spearman. You don't want to die. <laughs> you don't want to die. I wonder what's on the left side of this map. Hmm. Definitely want a city between those two bananas. Okay, there we go, and ouch, that was close. Hmm. Oh, you are going to try and kill him? Impressive. Extra hammers, I really love this this opening. Well, do I love this opening? I I really think that it's, it's kind of strong, uh, flexible opening when you go tradition, and then you go, hmm, then you go liberty. Settler, it's flexible because if someone is close to you, it allows you to grow your capital and you don't go like a crazy glass cannon with population two settlers or population three settlers when you have like uh, one scout and, and a warrior and a worker and that's all. So that kind of allows you to, to have a kind of a, well, it's an ability to change your mind. If you really see a enemy close by, nearby, you can basically switch to just making a second city and make some army. And if you of course decide to just go peacefully, then you go peacefully, but you still have uh, the scout puzzle just a little bit crow. I am experimenting a little bit with this opening. Mm, and as I said, I do believe it's kind of a flexible opening. Nothing extra too crazy. But overall, it's just a flexible um, opening. Okay. Trees passing in Lhasa. Well, fine. Trees passing. Well, we shall trees passing here. What? Such a lovely little passage. One hex passage to my land from this side. So. Yeah, this looks like a pretty peaceful mm, sim style game. I like it. <laughs> I really like peaceful games. And what do we have in here? Oh, hello, Aldeville. Uh, yes, I did. He was asking, do I actually know the trick with Siam when you get the free watts uh, from the tradition social policy? It's pretty strong. Yeah, it's still working, of course. And Brave New World, it's a very, very good trick. Getting new universities ASAP Asylum. Oh, hello, Lucky Strike Capital, Amsterdam. Well, not that much hills around there, but at least he has some food. Well, mm, I don't remember how much artillery upgrade cost, uh, sadly. Five population, what do we have? Cow, wheat and a hill. Well, nothing extra too crazy, but not bad either. And probably a coastal capital. Archer incoming. Will he burn this? Okay, let's check. Yeah, he's got a coastal capital. That's nice. And we've got Siam. Hello, Siam. Hello, Siam. Siam is Twinson. Twinson. Well, I had a game just before. Oh, and there's what's there? Shumi, I think. Assyria. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Shumi. No, you're going to be able to pillage. <coughs> Archer. Babayan Archer. Why do you want to pillage our lands? You're so, so peaceful. 
and you just want to pillage our peaceful land of prosperity, damn barbarian. Please die next turn. Yeah, of course he did pillage. Uh, there we go. Hmm. That was to be expected. There we go. Oh, at least promotion. Hello, scout. Now, I do love this city spot in the north. Mm, north. Northwest. In the northwest, it looks really lovely. Oh, hello, Asur. Asuria's capital, and you should be pretty close, but I don't think that. Uh, um, in, I have to worry about um, anything incoming from the west just because this passage allows me to well basically defend um, with a little force I mean like I would only have to put uh, archers on the hills and I can shoot without any problems oh such a lovely city spot only barbarian camp standing in my way and that's all Marble in our capital, and next spot, of course, a workboat for happiness. And I want a city, I believe, I want a city exactly on the spot of that barbarian camp. I mean, hill is nice, but I could fit in another city. Well, well, I don't want to spoil anything, but. Mm. All right, I will not spoil anything, but overall, I will just say a general information about a problem that I do find in my games. I tend to plant too too many cities, and I tend to well how to understand it well. Basically, I I'm a little bit used to oh another fish. <laughs> All right, so definitely want to plant a city on the hill where the barbarian camp is just to get that extra luxury. I know I will miss the hill, but getting extra luxury is definitely useful. But getting back about the cities, uh, I do tend to plant too many cities. I'm used to gods and kings where you could spam cities as much as you want, and now with the science penalty, the 5% science penalty per city. Uh, actually, in free for alls I noticed that though I do have good science, well, I do have good science, but just that extra, for example, 10%, it's, it's basically a lot. Mm, for example, with 200 turns, you basically just without taking anything into concern, just simple, I mean, 10% or 200%, 200 turns. So basically, if someone plants four cities and I plant six cities, I will finish 20 turns later. If I will have the same science. And sometimes I do have the same science as someone that has four cities, just because I have too many cities and too little happiness. I cannot grow those cities enough to compensate for that 10% um, increase in science. And this is something that I actually struggle in Brave New World. I still see a great city spot and I'm like, like mm, let's plan another city. I want another city. Yes, another city is a great idea. While it's not. I mean, like, maybe for um, medieval era, for renaissance era, or even industrial era, it's cool. Uh, because you get that extra, pro the chance for extra production and chance for extra trade routes. But at the end of the game, when you go to information, I mean, like, modern information era, the penalty in science and penalty in social policies just kicks in at that moment. And you start to fall behind behind a peaceful player that goes three cities, four cities, something like that. And well, it's that's something that I need to work on really hard because I just, mm, yeah, I'm counting right now. Yeah, I want to plant a city here. I want to plant a city here 
and I want to plan a city between bananas. So there's one, two, three, four extra cities. They are good cities, of course, and I'm not saying they're not, and I don't want to spoil anything, so I will not say anything more about that. I'm just generalizing that I do feel that I have a problem with planning too many cities, and that just slows me down instead of helping me. It just drags me down and slow me down in the long run. Oh, Asur has 9% science, though he has only 5 hammers. And it's probably not going to work well for for his, uh, I don't know, wonder production or whatever it is he's playing in there. Mm, can we kill this barbarian? No. <laughs> Alright, maybe next turn. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid that this guy will die. There's no chance for that. I shouldn't have moved him, but well, fine. Mm, okay. Chopping, chopping just to get that extra hammers on the settler. And I do believe that I probably should have left this forest. Like there's not too many hills in here and, and in the long run actually forest is quite a good tile later on. It's like one full three hammers, so it's pretty decent. And uh, it's a pretty decent Whoa, did I just get extra warrior? Right, I'm Germany. I absolutely forgot about that. I'm almost 100% certain that while I was playing this game, I didn't notice that, <laughs> that I just got an extra warrior. I think I figured that out uh sometime later on that I have a brute instead of a warrior but yeah I think so I remember that at least I absolutely did forget that this this can happen uh, okay Lassa targets there be encampment that's good maybe I can make him uh, to be peaceful with me uh, yeah he's angry <laughs> yeah hero spearman go Netherlands just planted a second city. Just planted a second city, and we're going to. Yeah, this spot looks so lovely. Yeah, this spot looks so lovely. Extra settler. Nice. And you will start with a lighthouse. Lighthouse. Oh my goodness, Lighthouse is such a great building in Brave New World. It's amazing. I mean, like, they did downgrade Habos just a little bit. But Lighthouse, two foot and one hammer from, from a f f resource that's just so good. It is just so good. It's so efficient to just. It's better to build a lighthouse before a work boat. Absolutely, especially if you have a couple of sea resources. So lighthouse. It's just such a good, ta such a good building for a coastal city with sea resources. Very, very good building. All right, what do we have in here? Well, this scout is blocking the way. Perfect. Well, only while well, blocking away. It's not really blocking away mm, from scout. Scout can still pass, but from every other unit, uh, well, basically any other unit cannot pass. Oh, that's great! And a settler cannot pass to plant a city there. So basically, that's overall good for me to block that size. And do I want a great lighthouse? I want a great lighthouse. Hmm. Yours, are you seriously going to build a lighthouse before anything else? Well, I do have marble in my capital, that's true, but still, will I try to get a lighthouse? Twinson has declared war on NQ Shumi. Why did you declare war on NQ Shumi? Hmm, <laughs> nice. Twin is an ass. 
All right, he took Shumi's caravan. <laughs> yeah, bad, bad, Twinson. But that actually is a game-breaking moment. Note my word. Note my words. This is a game-breaking moment. If Twinson wouldn't take Shumi's capital, this game would go absolutely differently, which you will see in the next episodes if you will be so kind and see them. I just note that, I don't know, write it down somewhere. The moment where Twinsen pillaged Shumi's, um, Shumi's trade route caravan was a game-breaking moment and changed everything later on. Alright, I will build a library before the Great Lighthouse. That's good. I was really afraid that I forgot about that. I really, really, really need library. And basically I need to start on libraries ASAP and get National College uh, as soon as possible. And of course extra population. And that's the problem, as I said earlier on, with mm, planning too many cities. When you don't have the happiness right away, you will just sit on negative happiness and you will not be able to grow at all and and that's a huge problem next spot calendar yes I should have yeah I should have taken calendar ages ago because I did want to plant the city right on top of uh, right on top of um, citrus yeah, right on top of citrus and now well I will have the crops yeah I will have the crops so I will not fall into a of happiness and I still will be able to grow and I just need to get um, yeah, camps to be able to improve truffles so I've got crabs I got pearls I got marble I got citrus and I will get truffles so I do have five luxuries, so theoretically I do have the space to make five cities. I mean, like, I do have the happiness for five cities. But, as I said, in the long run, I do think that one extra happiness um, is just something better. Than, than using a happiness for, for a city. I mean, like, you just fall a little bit short with happiness if you don't have religion, of course. If you have religion, then, well, that's, that's not that huge of a problem. But, but lately, I tend to skip religion just because with a six-player, mm, on a six-player match, especially when you get Ethiopia uh, or Arabia with, with desert, uh, start bias. It's it's just so hard to get a to get a religion. I just tend to skip that overall and don't imp implement it in my strategy, uh, which turns out not that great. Mm, somewhere in the mid game, I just lack that extra happiness, especially if I don't have trade partners. So that's kind of a problematic. And I still need a lot of work on culture. I tend to skip culture just a little bit too much. Uh, I definitely need to work on that as well. Barbarian camp, welcome. Hamburg will be such a lovely city later on. Looks that location looks so good. Yeah, two, four, yeah, fifth city on the way. Though those are pretty nice city spots. Oh, how could you? How could you steal my worker? Mm. Barbarian brute. You're a true barbarian, mister. Stealing us innocent. Worker, 
How could you in killing a hero scout? I think even that scout had a vision promotion. Mm, barbarians, we hate you. Really, if you play Brave New World, barbarians are crazy those days. Especially if you have a lot of land around you. Oh, be ready for a barbarian invasion. I didn't play on Raging Barbarians yet. I wonder if that's even worse. But right now, normal, mar normal barbarians are causing so much trouble, especially when they spawn horses and you're not prepared for them. That's just so crazy. I mean, barbarian horses getting at your land and pillaging all this stuff. That's so, so good. I really like that they added those things. Now, Firax is just fixed that damn observer mode and I will be like, I will send you a postcard or something, best wishes from Poland or something like that. Really, just fix the observer mode. <laughs> and, and I will be very, very happy. Religion found it. There we go. Siam turned 39 and Twinsen already has religion. <laughs> so probably a natural fate wonder or something like that in his land. Uh, and I'm like, what? I, I didn't build a single shrine yet for for uh, fate a turn. Uh, I mean, like for fate just for me in a city state. And that's, that's basically all. So as I said, in free for all, especially with such a good players, if they see a chance of getting a free religion, they will just take it. And well, perhaps I could have rushed shrine and take quarry fate, but I do believe that someone already took it. When I will check that later on, when I was thinking like, mm, maybe I will be able to get a religion, but hey, mm, okay, it's already taken as usual. <laughs> Mm. So basically, yeah, I, I don't like to rush that religion. Later on, you can always go PD. Uh, later on, of course, if you do like to be strong on faith, and if there's a chance for religion, you can. So you, you kind of not banned from religion whatsoever. If you don't rush it, you can always go PD later on and get shrines, temples, half cost, and then get that extra policy if you really want to. And you can basically catch up, catch up, but I tend to just not do it too often. Uh, most of the time, the person who gets the religion first has a nice um, follower belief, so sometimes it's just better to, to get those and do other things in the meantime and not try to fight with religion. But that's just my pre personal preference and, well, Everybody does like do how they like. So, mm, what do we have in here? Ah, yeah, I'm just going to lucky strike, so he will not steal my uh, worker and not clear that barbarian camp for 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 a mistake or by a mistake or something like that. Uh, all right. Anyways, thank you very much for for watching. I will finish this part. In, well, this part will finish in here, and see you.